Welcome to our channel. Today we are going to discuss about the following topics in the bag filter system. First topic, what is bag house interstitial velocity? Second topic, bag house interstitial velocity formula and how to calculate the interstitial velocity. What is interstitial velocity? Interstitial velocity is defined as the upward velocity of the air through the open area between the filter bags inside a dust collector. Upward velocity occurs when a hopper inlet is used on a pulse jet bag house. Dusty air is introduced into the hopper and travels upward into the filter housing where cleaned gas passes through the filter bags and dust is deposited on the exterior of the bags. Next. What will happen, if interstitial velocity is too high? If the interstitial velocity of the upward air flow is too high, then the dust pulsed off the bags during cleaning will not migrate downward to the hopper. Instead it will be re-entrained and carried back onto the bag surface. The results can be high pressure drop, excessive use of compressed air, and shortened bag life. Next, how to calculate the interstitial velocity? Interstitial velocity is calculated as the air volume divided by the cross-sectional area of the collection minus the cross-sectional area of the bag. Next schematic diagram for understanding the interstitial velocity. The air volume divided by the cross-sectional area of the collection minus the cross-sectional area of the bag. How to calculate the interstitial velocity for the bag house? Required data, Q, volume of the air in meter cube per hour, L, length of the bag house in meter, W, width of the bag house in meter, A, bottom area of the total bags, in square meter, interstitial velocity, equals to volume of the air as divided by, length and width of the bag house minus bottom area of the total bags. Next, we understand how to calculate the interstitial velocity in the bag house, given data, Q, volume of the air 3804 meter cube per minute L, length of the bag house 12 meter W, width of the bag house 4 meter D, bags diameter 0.15 meter L1 bag length 10 meters long total number of bags 1200 numbers based on the above given data. First, we will calculate the bottom area of the total bags, A, bottom area of the total bags pi multiple by r square multiple by the total number of bags based on the data and formula we got the bottom area of the total bags as 21.195 square meters next based on the above given data next we will calculate the interstitial velocity interstitial velocity equals to volume of the air as divided by length and width of the bag house minus bottom area of the total bags Based on the data and formula, we got the interstitial velocity is 141.91 meters per minute or 2.36 meters per second. Hope, understand about what is the interstitial velocity, and how to calculate the interstitial velocity. Thanks for watching, subscribe the channel for more videos.